So now we're going to do episode three. You've already made it through episode one and two. If not, hit the link in the corner right there and go back to episode one. You can see where this journey started. If not, we're getting to the meat of this operation, which is going to be code piston and crankshaft installation. This some of the most important parts of the operation of the motor. If this stuff isn't lined up, then boom, it's going to blow up again. In this book, oh, I need to go grab my computer again so we can get the Yamaha service manual. So then they can tell us like all the technical stuff that we need. First of all, we're going to apply a generous coat of oil onto everything. We need to have everything oiled, lubricated so it slides in nice and smooth. We already coated down this with oil. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to install the crankshaft into the block. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to line up all these little locating holes right there that you see there. All those little holes line up, they correspond with pins on the block. So there's a pin there, pin there, pin there, and each one corresponds with a bearing. So there's a bearing here, that's not the right hole. There's the hole there, hole there, and there's also a hole on the top main bearing. So get the block front and center. We're gonna line up the, uh, the crankshaft in here. So. That's not supposed to be touching it. Yeah, okay. So I'm pointing this down. I got a feeling these retaining clips going after the fact. Like you, you do do these in half. You know what I'm saying? But then how do you get it back on? That's you put it together. All right. So leave the clip on and leave the clip facing up, and then only half of it on there. You see what I'm saying? What does it mean when that light is blinking? It's recording. See what I'm saying? Don't this make sense, kind of? Think about it. It'll go on. It'll go on easier. Okay, so now, set this back in there. Catch those clips. That one's wider. No, you get it lined up without moving. You gotta push it. Well, I can't because you can't feel it. Just let me set it on there. Let me open it up. There. There. Oh, did it go? That's good. Maybe we push it on too much. Bam. There we go. Now we got it lined up. So now we got these lined up right. Alright, so now we take these bearings and uh, stick the bearing in. Oh, this is going to be a pain. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. You got something smooth? Something rubbing there? What's rubbing? This? This? What just came out? Hmm? Where did you slide all No, I slid the crankshaft up in the thing. Oh. That's moving. I don't hear it no more. Yeah. You hear it? Mm -mm. So that's it. All right. So we got that together. Now we got the crankshaft in. Temporarily install the lower lower bearing cover onto the crankshaft. Install the bolts and hand tighten them to help retain the crankshaft. Here's the lower bearing cover. Oh, the lower bearing cap onto the motor. You want to have the hose facing up and then you want to align the screw holes. Stick the screws in there. And just hand tighten them, they see. You want to help make sure the crankshaft stays stationary during installation of the pistons. I believe that's the next step. All right, now test it for proper operation. Do you feel any rougher? You know? Okay, rotate the crankshaft until number one crank journal is at the bottom of its stroke. Number one? Yeah, the number one crank journal. So the bottom of the stroke. So that's the top of the stroke, I believe. So the bottom is this. Right? That's the bottom of its stroke or is that the top of the stroke? No, I think that's the bottom right here like this because it's the deepest that it can be. Wait, the so the piston would be at the bottom right now. Okay. So let's grab piston number one. Let's see if the piston comes out. Pistons out. Yeah, we're going to oil them down before we slide them in. Maybe we should set it in here and then it'll lay flat. Wouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Alright, so let's get everything together. Let's get everything together first. So we got our pistons. We need to get our rings out now. Three sets of brand new big end bearings. Three of those. Let's just go ahead and hit them up with a little earl. Jiggle them up nice and just coat this up with some oil. Coat the big end cap, rod cap up with oil everywhere. On these inside surfaces, because we're not going to be able to really get to them. Alright, that's enough. Rub it around. We'll coat the bore in oil. Coat your piston in oil. We went and bought a ring compressor tool, so now this should go pretty smooth now. Did I put the knife up? I'm going to try to return it, though. I don't want to keep this thing. It was $50.99 at AutoZone. Definitely, if you're buying a ring compressor tool, go to Harbor Freight. Do yeah. Coat this with oil. You want to coat your ring compressor with oil. Okay. You only need to slip it on like right under your rings. I'm getting dimmer. All right, you want to slide it over your rings. Just slide it before you tighten it all the way up. Then we're gonna slide it up a little bit. Okay, slide it up. It doesn't have to be super tight. You want to slide it just on your rings. Just like that. Go ahead and tighten it the rest of the way. I don't like you want to do Alright. So now we got that like that. Everything is tight. Smooth and even. That's good. That's good. But remember which your upside is up. This is my upside. Try not to hit the bore. Slide the piston down and in. It's not going to be hard to put it back. Alright, then you slide it in there. Got that there. Use that to 
person. Bow down. All right, so that's it. That's how you put the pistons in the cylinders. Now we're moving on to this next step. This step took us entirely too long. But now we're going to put the big end bearings on along with the bearing end caps. This is a very crucial part. You got to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. So um, I guess we're going to start with the top. Well, this middle. What do you mean? No, I don't think so. I can see it. Okay, let's pull it up. Which side? We have to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, it only goes with me. The way they do this, it's made as one and then they crack it. Damn, it's pretty well aligned right now. It's pretty well aligned. What do you. So the ends have to. What about this? And then the corners, yeah. You gotta feel all around it. So that. No feel, no crap. Just to tighten that down about here. Wait, just move. 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 Go ahead and put it together with missing bearings. Thin metal. Is it aligned right now? Yeah. Perfectly? Put your fingernail? This side feels right though. Yeah, this feels pretty good. There's a little lip on that side. Yeah, that's what I think you need. Yeah. Alright, we just snugging these right now. And that's it. So let's get them all on there. So get them all up these bearings. Everything needs to be nice and oiled up. Why would it be scratching? Okay. Where is the You want to figure out which side is which because these are one sided. One side is going to be, they're both different. The way they make these is they make them as one piece and then they crack them. So there's only one way that this cap can go on here. When you put the cap on there, you want to check it for seating. So that's how you know it's right. Then you want to rub your fingers on the outside here and feel if you feel any kind of seam. If you feel any kind of seam, it's misaligned and you need to take it off and straighten it out. Then you want to just hand tighten your screws and after you hand tighten them you want to check your alignment once again make sure nothing is uh out of order and again you want to use sometimes you would take something sharp like you got this uh got this thin exacto knife blade run it over and see if you hear anything check the sides make sure everything is straight so everything here is still checking out so then I'm just going to take my wrench and just hand tighten it, snug it, and check it once more. All right, we're all good. So now that that's all good, I'm going to come back with the torque wrench and torque all these to spec. But I just want all these snug so we can do a little test run. So we're going to do the final one, and then you know, we'll check back in with you. All right. Making sure the cap and rod ends are aligned completely. Then tighten the bolts to the first specified torque. First step is 12 newton meters, 1.2 kilo, 1.2 meters per kilogram, or 8.7 foot pounds. So we need it to go to 8.7 foot pounds. So we're gonna put it to nine because this is a Harbor Freight tool. So we got it at five right now. So five plus four is nine, right? Then we tighten it up. We got it all assembled. Now here's the true test if we can 
I had saw this online somewhere. I don't know if this is real. But you're about to see it here, so now it's about to be real. We want to see if we can rotate the whole assembly by just grabbing the top of the shaft without the flywheel. That ain't going to happen. Maybe on a smaller motor. Not on this motor. It's tough. So let's see. We're going to just push it here. And just listen for nicks and ticks and pings. I hear compression. Even on this newspaper. Bet if we put it over that oily thing. You wouldn't even be able to turn it at all. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. Once you get it stood up, you'll be able to turn it. That makes it easier? Yeah. Move. That little click is going. Yeah. I hope that was good, but nothing serious. It's pretty smooth to me. To me? All right. So now we got that. I guess that is uh, that is episode was that episode three. Yeah. Thanks for watching episode three. If you haven't checked out episode one and two yet, go back and check those out. That was the very beginnings when everything was in a million pieces. But now we're starting to see the end of the tunnel. Now that we got the pistons installed, we got the crankshaft in there all straight. So now that's pretty much the hard part is done. Now it's just going to be plug and play, bolts and stuff on. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe right now so you don't miss episode four or episode five. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.